Okay, here we are. Um, I just want to praise the Lord for the tremendous victories I've had these uh, last couple of days, last week. Yeah, it seems like it seems like things have been getting crazy, you know. But uh, and they have, believe me, they have. Uh, but also, uh, I see God's hand moving. I see tremendous blessings, you know, in uh, in everything. And uh, today, I was thinking of the presence of God, you know. Uh, you see, I, I remember one time. I picked up, I was driving Uber and Lyft, and uh, who knows, I might do it again, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I was driving Uber and Lyft, and uh, sure enough, I picked up the, I picked up a couple of guys, and uh, they were going to the press box over on Dale Mabry, uh, the uh, the sports bar, very well-known sports bar. They, got, they always have all the big pay-per-views are there, you know. If uh, Manny Pacquiao was to fight uh, Floyd Mayweather in a rematch for a quarter of a million dollars each, <laughs> they, they would have it there. They would have it there, regardless of how much they charge. And they would probably be packed because that place gets packed. But anyway, uh, I picked up, the, I think they were like Russian because they had that heavy Russian accent. And uh, I, uh, I even got to know the name of one of them. I think it was Andre or something like that. And uh, I had gotten his telephone number, and uh, well, I had asked him. I said, "I said you could, you could see the, uh, you could see that in in your in your place on pay for view." I don't even remember what fight it was, but uh, he said, "Yeah, you could see it." But he said, "It's, it's the atmosphere, also, you know." And I and I it kind of got to me. I said, "That's that's the that's that's really a good." I I told him, I said, "You know, that's you're absolutely right." You know. I mean, when you're in the atmosphere of, of other people, you know, a large crowd, you know, and you have people who are cheering for one guy, some people cheering for the other, and uh, and it was I don't remember who it was, but I know it was I know it was close, you know, it was like it was like something like uh, you know it was it was no clear cut dominant person in in the begin, begin before the fight. And uh, so, you know, it's one of those fights that, you know, that, that crowd could be 50-50 or, the, you know, something like that. And uh, and I got it, you know. And I started thinking, I said, you know, that's, that's what's good about going to church. And I can see why the Bible uh, talks about uh, going to church, you know. Because, remember, the thing about this whole thing is that... Um, you know, God wants us to get into his presence regularly. You know, just get in there. Because, uh, first of all, you have, there's something about getting into the presence of, of God, you know. Look at when uh, when when God came down mightily in the uh, in the first temple. They couldn't even minister. You know, you had the, the, the cloud of glory there, you know. And it was uh, it was impossible for them to minister. And I started thinking about that, and I said, you know, I said that's the kind of stuff. I mean, Solomon started really well. There's no doubt about it. You know, I mean, if somebody started their 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 Christian ministry, well, back then they didn't they, they weren't called Christians. Back then they were uh, they were Hebrews. You know, they were Jews. But uh, I mean, if anybody started their 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 kingdom, their their reign uh, in a in a correct manner, it was certainly Solomon. He had like a thousand sacrifices, and you know, it was like a very big thing. And and of all the things that he asked for, he asked for wisdom. You know, he didn't ask for his for his enemies to be uh, rounded up and shot against the wall, you know, or, or, you know, or riches, you know, and I, I can understand that, you know, because I'm constantly asking to be used by God. That is my prayer. That is my song. And, uh, you know, I also got to put me in the right place, direct me, direct my, direct my paths. Like the, uh, like the Bible says, you know, 
says uh, in Spanish, Lampara es a mi pies tu palabra. You know, your, your word leads me, you know, to, to where I should be, you know. And uh, the sanctification part, those three things I'm always praying for. I'm always praying God clean me, God direct me, God use me. You know, I love that song by uh, Twilight Paris that says, uh, send me, you know. I just, I just love that, you know, where, uh, you know, when I, when I hear songs like that, you know, uh, it just, it just really gets to me, you know, and, uh, there's something about going repeatedly to, to, to feel God's presence, you know, in a mighty way, you know, I mean, I've been to some near, uh, revivals in my, in my life, I've, I've been going to, uh, churches now, uh, Pentecostal churches and Assembly of God churches. I've been going there to like, and, and some really good non-denominational churches. Uh, I've been going now since, uh, primarily since 78, when, uh, when, I, when I first started with uh, going to churches and stuff like that. And by 83, certainly I was go just going to Pentecostal churches, you know, and, uh, you know, I just think that, you know, this just, just something about going to church and something about getting in the presence of God, that it's, it's, it's very good. You know, it's, uh, I can see why God makes that a very important part of, uh, of, of what he, what he commands the church to do. You know, the, the Bible says, do not forsake the assembling. You know, I mean, we're not supposed to, we're not supposed to give up on that. You know, I don't go to my church because it's big and it's nice and it's pretty. <laughs> I go there because I hear the word of God. Sometimes it hurts me. What, what, what comes out of that pulpit is not supposed to always be good. Sometimes it's supposed to be encouraging. Sometimes it's supposed to be healing, but sometimes it's supposed to be correcting. Sometimes it's going to be, sometimes it's, it feels like they're reading my email, you know, but God has me there and, and. You know, you have to, you have to just like just like Job said. Are you gonna accept the good and not accept the bad? You know, you you have to uh, be in a place, you know, and you have to accept what what the message that God is bringing to you. You know, I mean, the Bible says God uh, disciplines His children. You know, I mean, if He's trying to lead you somewhere, sometimes you can't hear it. Sometimes you can't. You're not going to get a dream about it. Sometimes when you read the word, it really doesn't touch you, you know. But uh, sometimes the message, you know, from a pastor might might touch your heart. You know, sometimes that song, that special song, you know, is going to touch you, you know. So that's what I got for you today, you know. And, uh, you know, go go to church, you know. If not, if you're in the area, call me up. I got give church right in your right in your living room. We'll go over there with the with the with the tambourine and <laughs> go over there with the acoustic guitar. Have a service, church service right there. You know, and uh you know, well, God bless everybody and I know I kinda went a little bit further than my than the seven minutes I like to do, but you know, I really I really enjoy this whole topic of the of the presence of God, you know. There's just something about it, you know, just uh, Something, something, something real, something, you know, I mean, look at, I look at, I like to read up on these, uh, these different, these different revivals. I was reading up on the Azusa Street revival, and that was incredible, you know, I mean, too bad we didn't, too bad, I don't, as far as I know, nobody's ever taken like motion pictures of that, you know, but that must have been incredible, you know, and I hear, and whenever I hear these, these people talking about, oh, there's a revival happening at this place. I mean, you don't know how how much I want to go to that place to just just to be in that in that atmosphere, you know. Well, God bless everybody. Now I'm really now I'm really getting over. Okay, I went past. Uh, well, God bless everybody. If you have any prayer requests, you let me know on my Facebook page or whatever, or, on, or through YouTube. And uh, I do have a prayer list. I do pray for it. You know, it's kind of big. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna kid you. That prayer list is humongous. You know. And the uh, and the laptop is on the fritz, so the uh, 
So the prayer list that I had there, I have to I have to take out the hard drive and and put it in a uh, put it in a uh, in one of those cases that they have. So um, yeah, that's what I gotta do. Well, God bless everybody and uh, have yourself a great Tuesday. This is uh, the day that the Lord has made, the second day of November in 2021, and this is my 10-year anniversary of uh, my divorce, so hopefully uh, hopefully, I'll get remarried pretty soon, you know, if I can find a woman who's lower her standards so low that she accepts me as a, as a boyfriend and fiancé and husband, you know, so... Okay, God bless everybody. Bye-bye.